And uh, with us today is Dave Borgeson. He, uh, well, you can introduce yourself. And then this is Dr. Strick. He's with the Michigan uh, Department of Natural Resources. Uh, and him, uh, Dr. Scribner is with Michigan State University. So Dave, I say, give him a hand right now. Uh, give him a hand. Thank you. Um, thank you for joining us today. Um, why don't you share a little bit about why we're up here and what we're doing and why? Okay, well, I, as Brenda said, I'm Dave Borges, and I'm the Northern Lake Huron Unit Manager for Fisheries Division based out of Gaylord. Um, I got I got started in this way back when I think 97 was uh, 1997 we were concerned about the sturgeon population in Black Lake and and, uh, and Black River because we've seen we've, we've seen the harvest go down over the years we wonder if that coincided with the population decline so 97 uh, myself uh, Ed Baker and, and our crews went out and surveyed Black Lake it was surveyed back in the 70s and estimated population was around oh, 1,600 adults. Well, when we did ours in, in 97, our estimate was you know, between five and 600 adults. So that was really concerning. So we, we immediately said, well, we need, to, we need to shut down that fishery for them. And uh, Brenda says, and, and, and the group up here says, wait a minute, that's our, those are our babies. Those are our, those were our fish. That's a, that's part of our community up here. So what we worked out, they said, can we at least preserve some sort of a of a, of a season? We promise to help you guys out. And my goodness, have, have you helped us out? So we ended up reducing the season down, but also institute uh, Brenda and Sturgeon for the Mile. She organized this this uh, organization and helped protect the sturgeon. Because what we found, we could only account for a certain amount of the sturgeon that decline attributed to legal harvest. And we heard some anecdotal stories or people would talk. I remember talking to one guy, he says, oh yeah, yeah, we used to go up there and spear those in the river. I thought, I, I, you know, it was just part of, it was part of the, what Culture. went on here. So uh, Sturgeon for Tomorrow promised to help. And, and my goodness, uh, we, we know that's helped immensely in, in protect the sturgeon population. So we've started raising fish. Michigan State has been just invaluable. They, I hope you realize, I, I want you to realize that this, this system is now one of the most studied sturgeon systems in the, in the world with some of the, with, with the most cutting edge research done from the, thanks to Michigan State University and Kim Scribner. And, I, and, I, and I'll stop there.